When it comes to language, Mormons are thought to be clean, which is technically true. But the more I think about our speech, the more I realize that many of us just change curse words to meet our needs. And that's what I want to talk about today, Mormon cursing. So what is Mormon cursing? Essentially, this is when you take bad words and replace them with less bad words. And I've got to admit that Mormons are very creative because we have thought of a library of these words to use every day. And I'm going to go over many of them. We will start with an oldie but a goodie. Hell. Or as it's better known to our Canadian Mormons, H-E double hockey sticks. Most Mormons have replaced this word with heck. For example, a Mormon would say, what the heck? You're engaged? True story. I once knew a girl from BYU who regularly used the word hecker melons. What does that even mean? The next word we'll discuss is the S word. Instead of saying the real word, Mormons like to say things like shoot, poop, crap, and my personal favorite, shiz. Which might not be a replacement word. Maybe it's just a shout out to that guy that got his head cut off by Cory and Tumor. Oh! Mormons have replaced the Old Testament curse word, damn, with dang, dang it, and if you're a Texas Mormon, dag nabbit. Talking about the Old Testament, Christians for years have been thinking of ways to circumvent the Third Commandment, which is that you shall not take the name of God in vain. Instead of saying God, we like to say gosh. And that's why you will hear most Mormons say phrases like, oh my gosh, oh my goodness, and oh my word. Moses would be so proud of us. But I saved the best word for last, Mormon's favorite curse word to switch around. The F word. You aren't a millennial Mormon if you don't use at least one of these words. Like freaking, fudge, flip, fetch. Yes, I said fetch. The Mormons officially made fetch happen. Think about that next time that you are in sacrament. And I can go on with even more words, but I really don't have the time. I didn't even have time to get into the popular texting abbreviations that many people use now. The big question is, is it okay to use these words? I try my best not to judge others because we all have different ways of expressing ourselves. I did find this quote from President Dan A. Jokes which says that the language you use projects the images of our hearts and that our hearts should be pure. Take from that what you want, but thank you for watching this video and remember to subscribe to keep watching more videos. Talk to you later.